Hey there, um, today I'm just gonna be, um, doing a little overview of the, whatever you see in the title because, um, it's a complex name, um, but this is my first electric airsoft gun and like more, um, professional kind of one instead of Walmart's guns and stuff like that. Because I've wanted one for years, and then my friend is having a party soon, so I figured this is my excuse to spend the money. Um, it's all, it, I actually only got it for $140, which is really nice for a um, 410 FPS gun, but I would call it probably 400 just considering, you know, they uh, figure out which is the highest, they shoot until they get the highest FPS they can, so I would, I would call it about 400 FPS, but, um, I'm just going to do a little overview, then shoot it. I'm not going to try and do any kind of full review. I'm just going to show you what the gun is like, um, since I have no experience with any other figure of guns like this. But, um, yeah, let me stand up. Okay, so first, um, the weight is kind of heavy, um, which I actually like a lot. Feels more authentic, but, um, okay, so most of it is metal, like, um, the clip is metal. Here. It, um, it came with a, you know, um, extended one, you know, where you, you just have the, uh, where you just have the wind down here. Um, let's see, this thing up here is metal. It's a little bit shaky. I don't know. That's probably just mine. I can probably fix it. The iron sights are, um, metal. The stock, I don't know. That feels kind of plastic. I think the little part right here is plastic except the actual um, structure of it is metal. Um, the battery stays right there, and uh, which is kind of nice instead of having to put it somewhere else. And then this, the stock stays on, or the butt, or whatever, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, it's rubber, and it stays on good and everything. And of course, you can adjust the length of it with this. Um, let's see, now you have your uh, hop up right here you just turn that little knob to adjust it um, let's see and then of course you've got your uh, safe semi and auto um, that's basically all there is to it um, let's see well then you've got your little unjamming button here which is always fun to mess with <laughs> um, and that's really all there is. The trigger is plastic too, but you know, it's all strong. Very sturdy. Um, so let's go ahead and shoot it. Okay, so um, first I'm gonna have it on semi. And I'm shooting this left handed just so that the camera can see. Next I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on my mailbox and actually um, see if I can get the BBs to show. But it's a really powerful gun. Like, um, it can go nice and accurate out to my mailbox easily and that's 70 feet right here I think so um, I'm gonna put this on auto and just show you and yeah it's pretty awesome but um, let me get behind the camera zoom in and see if it can show okay so I got it now and uh, um, I'm gonna be shooting at the mailbox I'm gonna be looking at the camera a little bit too so don't expect it to be perfectly accurate and um, I'll put it on semi first it's also very windy right now but I'm in between my two vans so the wind won't pick up on the mic wow it's taking yeah it's taking all the BBs over that way let me just put this on auto and show you it really is accurate but it, it's just the wind. Like yesterday, I could hit it no problem first try. So here we go. Let's see what that looks like on the camera. But you see how it's curving to the left. But anyways, yeah. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it's a... Uh really nice gun for that cheap because most of the other ones that I was finding for this price they're only like 350 FPS and stuff so I'd recommend getting it I'll put a link in the description to it if you're a fan of airsoft 
Yeah, this is a really amateur sort of a um, video with this, so, but whatever. Yeah, that was lame. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Later, kids.